Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and I'm going to do a Mac Mini M1. This is the M1 8 core, 16 uh, gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte uh, SSD. And then this right here is the Intel uh, MacBook Pro Core i9 8 core, 32 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte SSD. And what I'm going to do is show you the export. No, no tomfoolery or anything here. This video clip is approximately three minutes and 41 seconds. So I've got it ready to go in compressor here. Uh, this right here is the monitors connected to my Mac Mini M1. I'm ready to hit start. I've got uh, the setting is up to 4K. So that's what I'm using here. Also over here, the setting is up to 4K. Uh, this video, if you want to watch this video, by the way, is the iPhone 12 Pro review after several weeks using. But I'm just using this as a test. I'm going to position my cursor over start batch. I'm going to position my cursor over start batch here. And you're going to see this in real time. And I'm going to go quickly. Okay. Boom. Boom. So the Intel has just a, a second or a, you know, maybe a little bit over a second edge. Because I clicked, uh, I clicked the Intel Core i9 first. We're just going to look at this little status bar right here. So there it is. Looking at the status bar on the Mac Mini as well, uh, which is right there. So we're not going to pause this video. You're probably like, man, this is boring having to watch. No, I'm going to swivel around in my chair and show you both. There's no full reaction going on here. Look at that. There it is. Wee! Which one's going to finish first, y'all? Yeah, this is real time, so if you've got a, a timing device like a like a stopwatch or a, a uh, you know, anything like that, this is just, you know, here, here's the thing. I do a lot of video editing here on Irish Guys Adventure Channel. I've been using, well, in the past, I used an iMac, but then I wanted to consolidate and I wanted to have a powerful on-the-road computer that I could also bring in a studio. So I got the MacBook Pro Intel and was pairing it with the eGPU, which I've temporarily disconnected. By the way, eGPUs, at least at the time of posting this, are not compatible with the M1. So that's worth mentioning. So let's see, there's that status. There's the Mac Mini. Here's the MacBook Pro with Intel Core i9. And I haven't, I haven't done this before. This is my first test Mac Mini M1 versus Intel Core i9 8-core export time for a video. And obviously that, that application I'm exporting through is compressor. So let's see, my screen just went dark there. There we go. Um, and I'm not sitting here naked. I just, I, if you saw my reflection, I just don't have a shirt on. I've got pants on. Um, <laughs> just worth mentioning. I've been grinding, man. I've been grinding these videos, so I just wanted to get get comfortable and get a get another benchmark video filmed. So so far, it looks like the Intel may have a slight edge. Keep in mind, though, the price of this Intel MacBook Pro 16 inch, especially the way it's equipped in comparison to this M1 Mac Mini. I mean, geez, we can get. Yeah, let's see. It looks like the Intel's coming, coming to the finish line faster. It looks like it is, man. But how much faster? We're gonna see the whole thing, man. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cheat y'all out of this experience here. So there's that. Yeah, Intel's, Intel's getting there, man. Curiously enough, Intel doesn't show elapsed time. It's probably a setting within compressor. But this is showing elapsed time. That's interesting. That's not intentional. It's just how it's, how it's doing. So the video that you're watching, we're 4 minutes and 41 seconds in. But obviously, I didn't start the export immediately as I started this video that you're watching right now on YouTube. Some people have timed this and they posted the, you know, this type of test. They posted the number, but I don't know. I just, 
I know it's goofy. I'm sitting here filming this with an iPhone 12 Pro, but you know, at least you're able to see this in real time. So I'm going to keep the eyes on this because it looks like it may finish first. So I'm going to keep the phone on there. No, I'm just going to keep panning it back and forth. I want to keep this interactive. I think the MacBook Pro may win just by a little hair, man. But dude, this his Mac Mini is wicked powerful. Um, I'm actually already, and I mean, it's only day two. It's the 18th of, of November. I got my Mac. Oh, okay. So the Intel finished. How much longer we got on the on the uh, on the Mac Mini? Let's time it here. Just keep an eye on this time. Still going. And I don't have any paper or anything, so y'all just, you know, y'all are watching this in real time, so y'all can decipher how much longer the, uh, you know, the Mac Mini M M1 took. It doesn't look like it's going to take much longer because you can see where the, where the little thing is there, the status bar. But, I mean, this is unreal. I mean... <sighs> And again, you know, it's only day two of ownership of of the Mac Mini M1. And again, I got the, this is the eight core, 16 gigs of memory, which currently is the max memory option for the, uh, for the Mac Mini M1. As I mentioned, my, uh, oh, it finished. Okay. So I guess the question for y'all is, given how close... Yeah, and there were there were seconds difference of of export time, but given how close that export time was, could you really justify today? And again, nothing against Intel. I've been using Intel and AMD since since I was a little kid, man. I've been building computers since I built the XT. I mean, I'm old. I got gray hair. Um, but given how quickly both of these exported, given that Apple is obviously going. Apple Silicon, you know, they're going to be ditching Intel. Uh, tell me what you think. I'm not a dictator, but could you even consider or justify buying an Intel Mac now? Um, and admittedly, I bought this MacBook Pro, and, and I probably shouldn't have. I mean, it's it's. I put it to good use. You know, don't get me wrong. I've edited tons of YouTube videos with it, and and I've uploaded uh, tons of content. So, I mean, it's it's you know, it's been a, it's had a great return on investment, ROI. But with that being said, when I bought it, my assumption, and I was incorrect, my assumption is that, was that uh, Apple Silicon was going to be more of an entry-level processing power. And I was grossly inaccurate because their entry-level systems, the Mac Mini and the MacBook Air, which I have coming, which should be here within a few days, I hope, and we'll be doing performance testing of it. But both the Mac Mini and hopefully the MacBook Air, again, once I get my hands on my MacBook Air, I'll be able to confirm or deny this, but these are entry-level systems. These entry-level systems, and check out my other video where I do a benchmark. I do a geek bench of this 16-inch Core i9 Intel MacBook Pro, and then I do a geek bench of the Mac Mini M1, and actually the M1 beats it on the Geekbench in both single-core and multi-core performance. But as we witnessed here, and, and again, I did click the export uh, button within Compressor, you know, a, a, a second or so faster on the, on the uh, MacBook Pro than I did the uh, Mac Mini M, M1, but yeah, the at least the MacBook Pro exported that the exact same video project exported a little bit faster than the M1, but not much faster at all. And what I've noticed, and we'll address this within a separate video, when you're editing, a, and, and again, this will be a separate video, but when you're editing videos in Final Cut Pro 10 on a uh, on an M1 computer versus Intel, the video just seems so much smoother as you're editing it. And that may sound that may sound kind of weird, but I think I'm right. We're gonna be doing an in-depth video of that. But uh yeah, man, I mean this is bye bye Intel. Bye bye Intel. You've been great. You know, I mean <laughs> 
what else can we say? I mean, Intel is is about to be out the door, and actually, I'm gonna again, I'm gonna I'm gonna trade this for a for a MacBook Air M1 because I don't. Eh, this thing is gonna drop like a rock. I hate to say that because when I bought the i9, I'm like, this is a powerful system. It is a powerful system, but yep, Apple's going M1, and and that makes or not just M1, they're going. Apple Silicon and makes perfectly good sense. So anyway, appreciate your viewership and uh, y'all uh, y'all tell me what you think down below and, and, and I hope this video provided value. Again, nothing was doctored up. I had the exact same video on both computers. I filmed it with this iPhone 12 that I'm filming this with and then I copied the Final Cut Pro library to the second computer so that I had the exact same project in the exact same state so the only difference obviously was the uh was the computer that was film that was exporting you know this this intel macbook pro core i9 8 core with 32 gigs and one terabyte ssd and then this over here which that's the monitor for it but this is the mac mini m1 that just released on the 17th yesterday november the 17th of 2020 with 16 gigs of memory, which is currently the max memory option for the Mac Mini, and a one terabyte SSD. Hope this helped. And dude, this this thing, this thing is blowing my mind. M1 Apple, you've done a good job. Don't mess it up. Y'all have a good day, and be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video.